بسم الله صلاة السلام على رسول الله رب يشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقد تم اللسان يفقه قولي السلام عليكم my dear brothers and sisters Alhamdulillah, I hope you are all doing well. This is our Tajweed lesson number 12 already. 12 or 11? Uh, I'm sorry? Is it 11? Lesson is it? 11? Is it 12? Is it 11? Actually, actually lesson wise, it should be 9, uh, 10, because we did a quiz, I think, and an exam. But all in all, all in all, over uh, all of those we've done, it should be 12. It's our 12 uh, contact lesson, face to face. Yes, <laughs> true. I think, uh, let's check the count. I think Brother Yusuf is better than me. Um, so first, let's have a look at um, our, uh, uh, you know, beautiful calligraphy. First, let's see if we can have an identification of this area. Uh, yeah? If anyone can help us, if you can raise your hand first, oh brother Sultan Anas, uh, Anas or Sultan, let's see if you can read it with uh, uh, proper. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum brother, see, uh, in Akramakum in the Lahi Atakum. Before that, uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is telling us uh, Allah made us in different tribes, but exactly. uh, complete. I cannot say, but in Akramakum in the Lahi Atakum. Beautiful, mashallah, brother. Beautiful. Uh, this is one of my favorite ayat. Um, actually, uh, you can start reading from the bottom and going up. And you can see that at the top, very top, uh, there is the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it starts with وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ uh, See from the bottom of the screen on the right. وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ Actually, you can follow my, my mouse or not. Because sometimes... When I watch the video, uh, the mouse, you cannot see the mouse. But can you see it? Now we can see. Okay, I have to shake it a bit. So it starts here. Wa ja ja al na kum shu uba. Okay, wa ja al na kum shu uba. Wa and then like you said brother sultan inna inna akrama kum indallahi atqakum so in order for us to have a more Presental perspective. I have already included for you the the chapter of the Quran. This is actually a section of the whole verse. It's not the whole verse. The, the whole verse is longer than that. So it starts like this. It's chapter forty nine of the Quran, ayah number thirteen. يا أيها الناس إن خلقناكم من ذكر وأنثى وجعلناكم شعوبا وقبائل لتعارفوا إن أكرمكم عند الله أتقاكم إن الله عليم خبير. So the translation of this ayah is O oh mankind. Indeed, we have created you from male and female and made you peoples and tribes that you may know one another. And then it proceeds, it says, Indeed, the most noble of you in the sight of Allah is the most righteous of you. Righteous of, righteous of you. Indeed, Allah is knowing and acquainted. Um, so this is a beautiful ayah that shows how, despite our differences, of races and nationalities and cultures. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not judging us Allah according to our... Uh, you can hold me here, Do you hear the other? <laughs> Okay. So Allah says to us that what he is um, judging us uh, based on is our righteousness. Our righteousness. 
Uh, and also, um, if you think about, there is a hadith that is in a core, is, is actually um, quite, um, how to say, um, maybe is quite close to the meaning of this ayah where uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says to us that um, there is no superiority, uh, an Arab has no superiority over a black person and a black person has no superiority over an Arab. Um, but uh, the best among us is the one who has the most taqwa, right? So Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala says here, indeed the most noble of you in the sight of Allah is the most righteous of you, despite our cultural differences and our uh, nationalities. So yeah, coming together from different races is also to know each other, right? Alhamdulillah. Um, now this ayah, why did I choose it? I didn't just choose it for the calligraphy <laughs> and I didn't just choose it for the meaning, but uh, because today we are going to learn or continue with Ahkam al-Meem uh, al-Sakina or the rules of Meem Sakina. So I can see that uh, Sister Farzana is raising her hand. Yes, Sister I Farzana. want to ask something. I have noted something that you started with the Awuz, Awuzu Billahi, uh -huh. but you didn't say Tasmiya, Bismillah. Right. Actually, so, Bismillah okay. Rahman Rahim, um, this is probably only my take, but I might be wrong. Um, it's only at the beginning of Ayah uh, that is, there is Basmala, beginning of chapters. Yeah, so, uh, uh, so yeah that's what I, I, I do not know. say the Basmala uh, in the middle of an Ayah, uh, but some people do, and I, I don't say that it's wrong. So, based on my, my limited knowledge, and the ones who taught me also in the past, um, they say that if you are in the middle of an ayah where there is no Bismillah Rahman Rahim, uh, you just say Aud Billahi Shaitan Rajim and you start. Um, but if you're starting from the beginning, uh, like Al Fatiha, for example, there is the Basmala Aud Billahi Shaitan Rajim, Bismillah Rahman Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. So uh, there's probably some open, there is an open. Uh, you know, application of this. So some people actually will say Bismillah and there's nothing wrong with that and others will actually not. So you can choose whichever you know um, best. And I don't know exactly what is the fatwa on this, but um, this is from my teachers. Uh, <laughs> I, I should probably dig more into this and try to um, give a bit of more firm answer, but Right now, I am just following what I've been taught. You understand my uh, Yes, absolutely. Yes. It's on the other side. What we have learned that whenever uh -huh. we start, we have to start with Bismillah instead of the Tawas. So that's why I asked this question that is it we are right or we have um, to. I don't know if I should say if you are right or wrong, to be honest. But uh -huh. I know there is a verse of the Quran that, that says, وَإِذَا قَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنَ فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ And if you recite the Quran, seek uh, refuge with Allah from the accursed shaitan. So say, أَعُوذُ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ That's actually attested by a verse of the Quran. As far as Basmala, um, I don't know 100%, so I cannot tell you. So I don't want to say right or wrong, to be honest. Yeah, okay, exactly. <laughs> right, yeah, inshallah. inshallah, we can actually ask about this because it's quite an, uh, an important question, mm -hmm. right? It's part of Tajweed, it's part of recitation, so we should do it properly, everybody. Okay, so what is today's plan? It's quite simple. Uh, we have just this, let me show you. Well, it's not, it's not that simple, but we have the completion of the rules of Meem Sakina. Finally, we're going to finish it today. And just as a reminder, you can still see my screen, right? The PowerPoint, you can still see it, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So for Meme Sakina, we have started the first one uh, as Meme uh, Ikhfa Shafawi, the hiding of the meme, like for example, in cases where, who can remind me? When do we do Ikhfa of Meme? Do you remember? 
brothers and sisters. What is the letter that follows mean that makes it hidden? The mean quality. It is the letter, second ba. letter of the alphabet. Yes, very good. Ba. Oh, yeah. me, uh, uh, me, uh, let me try to remember a verse. Membaini, something like this. Well, actually, I don't want to give you a wrong uh, verse, but if you have a meme followed by a ba, the meme becomes slightly hidden, the quality, right? That's ikhfa shafawi lips um, or labial hiding of the meme. So meme plus ba means the meme is hidden. And then the second rule, like two weeks ago, uh, we applied the rule of idram shafawi or blending or assimilating. So what we have, one meme followed by a second meme, both of them are blended. Mimman, mimman, mimman. So uh, meme plus meme, the two are merged. Okay, so today we are going to do Idhar Shafawi, Idhar Shafawi. So as we said in the past for um, the rules of Noon, Sakina and Tanween, uh, Idhar comes from Zahir, Zahir. So Zahir is obvious or clear. And the opposite of Zahir is Batin or Khafi, hidden. So zahir means let's make the mean clear, as clear as day, ma, without hiding, without merging it, okay? So um, what is technically the rule of, oh, oh, I see, <laughs> I see some writing on the screen, but that's okay. So in Arabic, if you want to remember it in Arabic, like um, there is a simple formula, but you don't have to. So it's the third rule, remember, it's the third rule of um, uh, Meem Sakina. So because it's the third, we say it like this. So the third rule of uh, Meem Sakina is called Idhar, which occurs with the balance of the letters, meaning I will show you what it means later, and call it or term it labial Idhar in our parlance. The English is kind of difficult. The translation is not that transparent, to be honest. <laughs> but this is what we call in English a mnemonic, mnemonic technique. Uh, so we had that in the past with Qutb Jad, with Yarmaloon, Yamun, and we had different ways to remember the letters of or the rule of Tajweed by a simple formula in Arabic. Uh, some will say it's not that simple. So. <laughs> In this case, if you want to memorize it, uh, it just tells you that the third the third rule of uh, Meme Sakina is Idhar of Meme. And uh, al baqiyya do you see this last word here? al baqiyya this is a hint. It will tell you which letters are going to accompany the Meme or follow the Meme. So for the rule number one, the rule of um, Ikhfa, we had mean followed by ba. For rule number two, which is idram, is mean followed by mean. And for this third rule for today, is mean followed by all the rest of the letters. That's why we call it al-baqiyya. Al-baqiyya means the rest, all the other letters of the alphabet. Okay, so it is one of the easiest tajweed rules, to be honest is one of the easiest Tajweed rules you can actually think of. And sometimes if you open a Mus'haf uh, of the Qur'an, you won't even see this uh, Idhar Shafawi uh, signaled in colors. Because some people say, well, it's so simple that you don't even need to signal it or to um, make a symbol to show that it needs to be applied. So many books of Tajweed don't even color code it. You know what I mean? Um, so its rule is to pronounce every letter from its articulation point without the ghunna on the clear letter. That is the rule, the simple rule of Idhar is to make things easy, simple, and read uh, read without uh, hiding or anything like lengthening. Ghunna is lengthening. And the letters that need to follow meme are all the other 26 letters of the alphabet, excluding meme and the. 
So you know that in Arabic, we have 28 letters of the alphabet. So if you have ba for ikhfa and meme for idram, then the other 26 letters that follow meme are the ones of idhar. That's why it's quite simple. This the kind of across the board, you know, it's applied, this, let, this rule is applied across the board. And the others are the exceptions. So that's, this is a simplification of the rule. Whenever you have a meme with sukun, followed by any of the 26 letters of the Arabic alphabet, excluding meme and ba, then you have to apply idhar. Meaning meme should be pronounced, uh, giving it its, its um, entire pronunciation without alterating it. And the other letter that follows it also should be given its full rights without changing it or hiding it or lengthening it. Um, so uh, to repeat, if one of these 26 letters follows a meme sakina, the meme is then pronounced clearly. And it can fall um, in one word or in two separate words, meaning that the meme and the following uh, sound or letter can be in one simple word, or it can be at the combination between two words. Like the end of the first word has a meme, and the beginning of the second word has another letter. And we have to apply ilha. Now, all of that is theory. <laughs> so we have to see how it looks like. OK, an important reminder here, just so that we can wrap up the theory. In Arabic, there are a few letters that are pronounced using the lips. So for example, meme. Mim uses the two lips, right? Uh, ba uses the two lips, ba. There are two more sounds that use the two lips, and these are fa, fa, and wow. So when mim is followed by either wow or fa, the idhar is stronger. The idhar is stronger. And we call this idhar so you know shadda means intensifier or stress so here the idhar whenever mean is followed by fa and wow then the idhar is said to be a bit more uh, pronounced okay so if we are beginners of tajweed we might not notice that but uh, this in fact is a caution because many people are tempted to make ikhfa whenever there's a fa or wow following the meme. So they would say something like or because the fa and the meme are used, uh, are using the lips, the fa, the meme, and the wow are using the two lips to pronounce these sounds. So that's why we have to clarify the boundary between that, not to make ibram, okay? Um, so can I can we think of examples of a meme followed by fa or wow in the Quran? Anyone can tell me? It's your turn to participate and to remember uh, to remember some of the verses of the Quran. Uh, maybe uh, yes so we have meme followed by ra. that's izhar very good nice any examples with meme followed by fa and wow or or wow Okay, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it because it's sometimes hard to think of an example. So here, hum fiha khalidun, hum fiha. Okay, so I'm just going to show you this example because I just want to stress an important point, like I said to you a bit earlier. Hum, see the lips are closed, right? Hum, and then after that, there is fa, fa, fa. You are taking your teeth, the top teeth and sticking them to the lower lip. So here you have to emphasize or maybe pay attention that 
ما and ف are distinguished. Because since both are pronounced using the lips, you are tempted to merge and to make a drum from me to ف. هم فيها. So it's like if you are not careful enough, you are going to make uh, to to move from the ha immediately to the fa هم فيها and to make kind of an an إخفاء or إضغام, right? But we should be careful because here we have to emphasize the quality of mim and fa and really make the إظهار more pronounced. هم فيها or the second one is لهم فيها لهم فيها Okay, so we give each letter its uh, appointed or its value, its full value. We don't corrupt it, we don't change it, we don't alter the pronunciation. هم فيها لهم فيها Okay, we don't say لهم فيها أو لهم فيها. No lengthening, no merging, no nothing. Just simple mean, simple fact. Okay, so um, here's another, here's another way to uh, remember it uh, with an Arabic short formula. واحذر واحذر and be careful. واحذر لدى واون وفاء. Be careful about the wow and the fa. أن تختفي not to hide them لقربها وإل والاتحاد فعرفي so be careful don't hide the fa and the wow that are following the meme because of their closeness to the lips لقربها قريبة والاتحاد فعرفي so make sure that you actually distance these sounds okay now, I'm just giving you these Arabic formulas just for information, background information. You don't have to memorize these, right? Don't worry about that. Just apply the rule, guys. Apply the rule. So let's have a look. Uh, let's go with Al-Fatiha, okay? The first, the top um, ayah from Al-Fatiha. Let's see where is the Idhar. We said the rule of Idhar is to have a meme with sukun on top of it, followed by any of the 26 letters of the Arabic alphabet, excluding ba and me. So we have there in color. Do you see it? You see it, right? I'm going to underline it for you. So here, easy rule of tajweed, the easiest rule of tajweed ever, just apply each sound give it its full value. عليهم ولا الضالين غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. Okay. عليهم و عليهم و Don't say عليهم or عليهم و. Full uh, sound without lengthening, without changing anything. غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين. Okay, you can practice for your own. Uh, just try, try practice for yourself. Okay, so that's a very إظهار شفوي إظهار of the lips. عليهم و عليهم و عليهم و. Okay. Now, the second example, who can tell me where the Idhar Shafawi is? You can tell me, tell me, inshallah. Anyone? If you can tell me, I'll be very happy. Let's see, where is it? Anybody, brothers? Oh, Layla and Jannah, can you tell me? Oh, what happened? It's not me. I didn't do that. Very good, MashaAllah. Very good. All right. Can I request something? 
from anyone who did the circling. Can you uh, can you uh, delete or erase the circle and also the uh, the red notes earlier? I saw it here. This one. I don't know if this is me, but I don't think so. Um, because it's still on the screen. Can someone try to erase this part for us? Okay, so very good, very good. This is Jenna or later. But if you notice, there is another one, you know, here. There's another one here. Okay, so we have Ivar here, and we have Ivar here. Okay, Barzana, can you to say uh, maybe you have a question? Did you raise your hand, Palzana? Yeah, no, no, I just want to point out that, yeah, binuri him wa, wa, followed by mean. Very good. Yeah, so this is another example of Ibhar Shafawi. So uh, we will read it. Do you want to read it? The whole ayah? You can try. Dahawallahu. Palzan, try it. Or maybe I do it for you, okay? Let's let's just save time, Sean. Zahaballahu bi nurihim wa tarakahum fi dhulumatin la yubasirun. Okay? Bi nurihim wa bi nurihim wa. See, I don't uh, spend time there or say something like bi nurihim. No. Or I say bi nurihim. No. Bi nurihim wa. That's right. Yeah. And the same thing for what Arakahum fi Dulumatin la Yubasirun. Tarakahum fi Tarakahum fi. So make sure that you clearly pronounce the meme and you clearly pronounce the fa. And you distinguish between the meme and the fa. So you say Tarakahum fi. Tarakahum fi. Is there a question by uh, Ani? I think I saw. Uh, yeah, does the hub mean gold in this context? Can you say it again? I, I'm sorry. Because I heard that the hub means gold in Arabic. So does it mean gold in this context? Gold? Context. Gold. Gold. Oh, right. no, no. In this, uh, no, in this case, he took away. Allah took away. The light. Allah took away the light from them and he left them in the darkness without sight. That's the hab is the other meaning which is called. But this one is he the habi the habi he took away. He took away from them. So it's Surah Al-Baqarah ayah number 17. Actually, you can check it together. You want any? Oh, so it's can, like Yadhab. The hab, yeah, exactly. Yadhab, exactly. All right. That's correct, you are right. So um, let's check it out because this is very useful for us to know, to learn. So it's uh, ayah number two. Uh, it's not ayah number two, it's chapter two. Ayah number seven, I believe. Uh, okay. Um, 17, sorry, not seven. <laughs> Okay, so Allah took away, uh, Allah takes away their light. So their example is that of someone who kindles a fire, but when it lights up or it lights up all around them, Allah takes away their light, leaving them in complete darkness, unable to see. Okay. So you can see in this verse, the ibhar. There's actually lots of ibhar shafa. You can have it here. You can see it uh, here. And you can see it again here. But interestingly enough, uh, none of these are color coded, right? So the rest mm -hmm. are color coded. So qalqala is color coded. Uh, Idram is color coded. Uh, Ikhfa is color coded. Because that's why I told you this is one of the simplest, easiest tools of Tajweed. And sometimes people don't even color code it because it's 26 letters, almost 28 letters. So it's 
the rest are exceptions. The, it's like a, a rule that applies all the time almost. But let's listen to how this is recited. مثلهم كمثل الذي استوقد نارا فلما أضاءت ما حوله ذهب الله بنورهم فلما أضاءت ما حوله ذهب الله بنورهم وتركهم في ظلمات لا يبصرون Okay, so it's very clear. وَهَبَ اللَّهُ بِنُورِهِمْ وَتَرَكَهُمْ فِي ظُلُمَاتٍ لَا يُبَصِرُونَ So no, nothing special happening here. Just simple idhar. Okay, simple idhar. Right. Okay, let's continue, inshallah. We are back with the PowerPoint slides. Now we're going to practice. So we have, for instance, here, I will recite it and you can repeat uh, at your own leisure. So in this case, the ibhar is happening in one word. See? So meem, second, followed by that. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Okay. We don't say Alhamdulillah. No. Ibhar, meem and da are given their, their full proportion without exaggeration, without alteration, without change. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Okay, so idhar in one word. Another example. Um, so we have the same Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. And then we have here, it happens also in one word. You have meme, second. Sorry if it's a bit blurry, huh? Sorry if it's a bit blurry. So we have here meme, second, followed by wow. خذ من أموالهم صدقة خذ من أموالهم صدقة So in fact, you know what happens here, brothers and sisters? We have إظهار of noon and we have إظهار حلقي what we call إظهار حلقي because noon second is followed by one of the six letters of the throat ألف أ and we have إظهار شكوي here من أموالهم من أموالهم we don't say من أموالهم Nothing like that. خذ من أموالهم صدقة صدقة من أموالهم and another إظهار شكوي here من أموالهم صدقة. So we have one here with the arrow, and we have one at the end of this word with صا. So we don't say من أموالهم صدقة. No. خُذْ مِنْ أَمْوَالِهِمْ صَدَقًا Okay, so you can practice this, inshallah. And make sure you give it its full proportions. Now let's continue. In this case, we have إِذْهَارْ شَفَوِي in two different words. What does that mean? It means at the end of the first word, we have mean, and at the beginning of the second word, we have another letter, so we will make uh, ibhar at the junction of two, between two words. For instance, ashab al-fil, sirat al-fil. Wa arsala alayhim tayran ababil. So we say, wa arsala alayhim tayran ababil. Again, if you are careful, you will notice that there is ibhar shafawi here, alayhim tayran. And there's idhar for noon sakina halqi here. Tayran, there is tanween followed by alif. So idhar here and idhar here. Okay, you notice that? Wa arsala alayhim tayran ababil. Okay, nothing tayran. happens here. Everything is clear, clear as, day, as daylight. No transformations of the sounds, no hiding, no lengthening, nothing. وَأَرْسَلَ عَلَيْهِمْ طَيْرًا أَبَابِيلٍ Okay. And then in Surah Al-Kafirun, we have actually one, two. لَكُمْ دِينُكُمْ وَلِيَ دِينٍ So when you see wow, the habit is because we, we know that there is no followed by wow is actually uh, uh, Ibrahim. 
you are tempted to, to say, Lakum No. We have to make it hard. Lakum dinukum waliyadin. Lakum dinukum Lakum di, lakum di. So letters are clear. Or every letter is clear. Lakum di nukum waliyadin. Nothing happens between the two letters. Everything is clear at the boundaries, at the word boundaries. Okay, so take your time, practice these. وَأَرْسَلَ عَلَيْهِمْ طَيْرًا أَبَابِيلٌ You can practice yourself, inshallah. The second one. لَكُمْ دِينُكُمْ وَلِيَدِينَ لَكُمْ دِينُكُمْ وَلِيَدِينَ لَكُمْ دِينُكُمْ وَلِيَدِينَ Idhar is just clarifying every single letter. Clarifying. Idhar is clarifying, making things clear. Okay, another example of ibhar between two words or within two words. Um, okay, there's only one ikhfa insan al insan. These two harakat here, but here there is ibhar. Lam ya'lam, lam ya'lam, nothing happening. Lam ya'lam. Alam al insana ma lam ya'lam. Okay, that's it hard between two words or within two words. Lam ya'lam, lam ya'lam. Okay, so basically, in hard, nothing happens. Just clarify the sounds of each two letters. Mean and yet. Okay. So, <laughs> we're going to practice now, brothers and sisters. Let's see, where is the idhar? So, let's go to this area. Uh, who wants to help me remove this ink, this red ink here, if possible? No, nobody? Okay. Now, well, if you cannot help me with that, don't worry. Can you help me with identifying where is the Ibhar Shakawi. Mim Sakina followed by any of the 26 letters of the alphabet excluding Mim and Ba. Where is it happening in chapter eight of the Quran Al-Anfal, ayah number 66? What are the examples? Show me, tell me. Yes, anyone? I can't hear you. You can say it louder. We have actually three three examples. I can see now. There are three examples. Ankum wa alima. Very beautiful. Ankum wa alima. Fi kum dwafa. Very good. So a meme second here, followed by ba, and. Min kum, oh no, no, not this one. Two mean merging together. Um, <laughs> min no, kum alfo. No, this yeah. is this yeah. one is following by Hamza. Yeah, exactly. Min kum when I do this with my with my mouse, when I do this movement, do you see the movement? Yes. Okay, you see it here. This is another idhar shakuri. So min kum and al min. Minkum elf. Minkum elf. Okay, although here we have ikhfa because there's noon followed by kaf, but the last letter, mim, is in a situation of ibhar. Minkum elf. Minkum elf. All right. Now let's recite this one. Or rather, rather, what we can do, inshallah, is to listen to it. And to practice uh, along, to practice along the recitation. Al-Ana khaffaf Allahu ankum wa alima anna fikum da'fa Fa'in yakum minkum mi'atun sabiratun yaghlibu mi'atayn 
وَإِنْ يَكُنْ مِنْكُمْ أَلْفٌ يَغْلِبُوا أَلْفَيْنِ بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ وَاللَّهُ مَعَ الصَّابِرِينَ Okay, so the points of focus are الآن خفف الله عنكم وعلم عنكم وعنكم و here simple meme followed by wow وعلم أن فيكم ضعف فيكم ضعف don't lengthen don't lengthen this meme right don't say فيكم ضعف just simple فيكم ضعف Mm -hmm. Right. If you continue here, if you want, if you have more breath, you will say, Fikum Bafa Fainyakum Fikum Miatum Sabira Sabira Tunyakibu Miatain Wainyakum. So we have me, uh, obvious me, minkum alfun, minkum alf, and another one here, ankum, ankum wa, ankum wa, idhar. And another one, fikum ba'fa, fikum ba'fa. Okay. Uh, how about another example, inshallah? We can check this one out. This one a bit shorter. ذَلِكَ مِنْ أَنْدَاءِ الْغَيْبِ نُوحِيهِ إِلَيْكَ وَمَا كُنْتَ لَدَيْهِمْ إِذْ يُلْقُونَ أَقْلَامَهُمْ أَيُّهُمْ يَكْفُلُ مَرْيَمَ وَمَا كُنْتَ لَدَيْهِمْ إِذْ يَخْشَصِمُونَ So how many here? How many? Sorry for that noise. How many did you see? Exactly. Okay. Where? Here's one. Two, yeah, they him. Uh huh. Wama kunta ladai him if ladai him if ladai him. That's one is I you whom I you before before that you have this one. Ah yeah. And you are right. This one too. I you whom yakulu. That's right. So the point, in fact, is what follows the meme, not what's before, right? So it's actually how you read what follows, how you read the meme and what follows it. So we neither we lengthen nor we merge nor we hide. Ladayhim id Okay. So you see the point, right? You, yeah. you understand the example of what is uh idhar idhar Okay. So now what we are gonna do is practice inshallah with suratul insan. Suratul insan. What is an insan? Meaning of an insan? Human being. Right, human being. Do you know, um, <laughs> I like to say this because it's actually quite true. Do you know why uh, the, the word insan is, uh, has another two letters that produce another word? Al insan. Nas, nas, okay, okay. And then we get in close. The forgetful one, Nasa, Nasa. Nisyan. Exactly, exactly. So why do we uh, need constant reminders? Because we are insane, humans are forgetful. Insane has forgetfulness in its actual 
composition that a human being is forgetful. فذكر إن ذكرة تنفع المؤمنين. So remind because the reminders will benefit the believers. So we have to be reminded. That is why actually also the Quran has lots of repetition, right? It's a lot of things which are found in more than one verse for the sake of repeating, for the sake of benefiting, for the sake of reminding us. Okay. So, um, Al Insan, we're going to go from verse 1 to 20. That's why actually I took your names <laughs> because I want to ask you one by one. Each one will go for one verse, inshallah. So let me go to Surah Al Insan and uh, I'm going to ask you do you see my screen? Yes. All right. So can I ask uh, the volunteers? Let's start with always. Are you here always? Yes, yes. Okay. First, always let's look at ayah number one. First, let's identify where is Mim Sakin uh, for Idhar Shafawi. First, ayah number one. This one here, vertically. Any examples, or is not in the house, in your opinion? Uh, can you repeat the question? Sure. So today we learn about Ibhar Shafawi, right? Which the rule is, uh, there is a meme uh, that is followed by any of the 26 letters of the alphabet, except Ba and Mim. And then when we see this meme followed by any of these 26 letters, we have to read the meme without changing anything in it. Mm? And followed with another sound. So in this first ayah of Surah Al-Insan, do you see any meme with sukun that has this bizarre quality? Al-Insan. Okay, where is the meme in Al-Insan? Insan, no me. There's noon, right? Me, I, did, I said it wrong. Uh, lam yakun. Exactly, mashallah. So here's the Ibhar Shafu'i. We have identified it. So we can actually read it with Ibhar, right? So how do you recite this first? Uh, you can start. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. And then you read the first ayah. <clears throat> Go ahead, always. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hal ata ala al ala al ul ala al ul insani ala al insani nomina nomina ad tahri lam yakun yakun shay amad kura. Excellent. Good job. So just make sure here you make ikhfa, right? So yakun shay amad kura. Do you want to hear it always? Yes. Let's hear it, inshallah. So you notice something? In هل أتى على الإنسان حين من الدهر لم يكن شيئا مذكورا. Right, so he did the idhar here. لم يكن لم لم ي لم يكن شيئا مذكورا. All right. جزاك الله خير عويس. Any questions عويس? Are you clear with this? No. Yes. Alhamdulillah. Thank you very much. Let's continue, inshallah. I'm going to ask Anas, your brother probably, right? Anas? Anas ibn Malik? Uh, uh, Anas is not. <laughs> He's not here today. He wanted to join. He just came and he will do the same like last surah. And then he okay. just went inside. No problem. No problem. Then how about Khizar? I'm just following the order yeah. of the uh, uh, the letters, the the, the names, sir. Khizar? Or yes, other? sir. How are you? You're um, good? 
Alhamdulillah, mashaAllah. Are you happy today? <laughs> okay, Khiza, how about you recite the second ayah? Or oh, first of all, do you see any izhar shafawi with memes according? Do we have that in this ayah? Hello? Yes, do you hear me well? Do you hear me well? Yes, now I can hear you. Alhamdulillah. Do you see any meme sakina? Meme with sukun on top in this ayah? Check it, take your time and have a look. See if there's any meme with sukun on top of it. In this second ayah here. There is one, only one. I show you, let me show you here, look here. Sir, wait, let me guess. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I'm too fast. Did you find it? Here you go. I so is it this? So is yeah. it this one? Jinnah Batali. Amshaj, Amshaj. Yes, Amshaj, Jinnah Batali. You see the name there? Do you see your screen, right? The one I'm yes, showing sir. you, I'm highlighting, right? Yes. yes. So that meme, when we recite it, we make the mean clear without modifying anything in it. We say, Can you say, Can you say, Very good, mashallah. Okay, so you know what, Khiza? Let's listen to how it's recited. Sir, Let's what is listen. the meme of the rule? What is, what the, is name? the name of the rule? It's called Idhar Shafawi. Idhar of the lips. Am shaj. Am shaj. So you don't mix Thank the meme you. with shaj. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. So let me just help you with uh, how it's pronounced by the ayat. Inna khalaqna al-insana min nutfatin amshajin nabtalihi fajalnahu sami'an basira. Okay, mashaAllah. Jazakumullah khair khizar. Thank you very much. Okay, we continue. Let's ask to Brother Sultan. How are you, my Brother Sultan? Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Do you see in ayah number three any idhar uh, shafawi with meme sakina? Meme was sukun in it. In hadaynahu sabina thimma shakira wa No. No, huh? Okay, then you are lucky. <laughs> okay, let me skip. I'm going to skip. I'm going to give you another one because I want you to practice. Um, uh, reciting it actually correctly. So let me go to. Um, it is one in number four. Do you see it? Okay, here, number nine, brother. Sultan, brother Sultan. Yeah. Can you see any uh, any Idhar Shafawi with Mim Sakin? Number nine, right? Yes. How many do you see? Just, uh, that, that one, Innama Nut'imukum Liwajhillahi Uridu Minkum Jaza'an Wala Shukura, right here? Exactly. So we have two, right? We have meme uh, second followed mm -hmm. by them, and we have meme, meme second followed by Jah. 
So in, in these two cases, how do you can you recite the whole ayah? Let me see if your recitation is okay. You can go ahead. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنما نطعمكم لوجه الله لا نريد منكم جزاء ولا شكورا. Nice, mashallah. Jazakallah khair. Actually, your recitation is very good for uh, making the meme uh, uh, izhar very clear. Nice. So, brother, nut'imukum li wajhillahi. Meme yes. and then la. Yes. So, ma nut'imukum li wajhillahi. Nothing happens here, right? Okay. We don't connect yes. the, man to, uh, the meme to the lamb. We don't lengthen the meme. We don't do anything. We make everything clear. إنما نطعمكم لوجه الله لا نريد منكم جزاء ولا شكورا. Let's listen to it with a better recitation with our mind. إنما نطعمكم لوجه الله لا نريد منكم جزاء ولا شكورا. Okay. Brother Sultan, do you have any questions? We are, brother, really pray for you and your family. We learn a lot, alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, brother. Alhamdulillah. We learn a lot together, alhamdulillah. Uh, Sister uh, Bonita, are you yes. here? Yes. Okay. Let's go to the next ayah, ayah number 10 of chapter 76. Uh, do you see any izhar Okay, so here, kamta. Kamta, yes. All of this is the word, right? This one. Oh, yes. All of this in blue is a word, right? Yes. Okay. Do you want to recite the whole ayah? Yes. Inshallah. Oh. إنا نخاف من ربنا يوما أبو شنكم تريرو. Okay, one thing إن شاء الله you can work on is the scene أبو سن. أبو شن. س. Try to avoid ش because it's different letter, right? أبو سنكم تريرو. Okay, so make sure the scene is closer to scene, sa, like sun, the sun in the sky, sa, abu, sa, not sha. Abu, okay. sa. Yes, that's better. That's better. Okay, okay Thank so, you so inshallah, much. you're almost welcome. But yeah, cool. uh, let's go to Sister Alia. Alia, uh, are, you, are you here? Sister Alia? Yes. How are you today? Are you okay? Okay. Yes. So let's have a look. Do you see the next ayah, ayah number 11 on your screen? 76, 11. Yeah. Okay. Where is the um, Idhar Shatawi in this ayah? The Idhar with me. Do you see it? It's a meme with a sukun on top of it. Can I show you? Yeah. See the meme? Because this meme here is different. It has vamma. No, we don't need that one. We need the one with the sukun. So this one, when we recite it, we make it clear. We don't change anything. We just say, Can you recite the whole ayah? Aliyah? فوقاهم فوقاهم الله شر ذلك اليوم أو 
or I help you. Okay, let me show you first how it's recited. Maybe you can recite yourself. Let's do it, Bismillah. فَوَقَاهُمُ اللَّهُ شَرَّ ذَلِكَ الْيَوْمِ وَلَقَاهُمْ نَظْرَةً وَسُرُورًا Okay, Alia, you do it yourself at home, inshallah. Ayah number 70, uh, Surah 76, Ayah 11, try to practice at home yourself, all right, uh, Alia, okay. Jazakallah khair. Huriya, Huriya. Huriya, are you here? Okay, for the sake of time, inshallah, if, if nobody answers, I will go to the next student. Uh, just to, to save some time. Anik? Anik or Anik? Yes. How are you today? You are happy today? Alhamdulillah. Um, let's go to Ayah 14 of chapter 76. Do you see any meme second with Ibhar Shafari? Yeah, there is. Where? There is, yeah, there is. I lay right. him. Excellent. It's the same as uh, when we have so here, in this case, the mean is going to be recited clearly, right? You want to try this ayah yourself? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Okay, okay, that's good. I would say 70% excellent. Now, the last word, how did you read it, this one? Okay, let me help you. Two things, okay? First, it's not ta, it's te. Te. And then the, the doesn't have qalqala, so uh, try to avoid bouncing it. Excellent, mashallah. Let's listen to the Sheikh how he recites everything. Okay, good. And you are right, you are right, actually. So here you made it clear in Kharshaka with excellent job. Good job, Ani. Zakala Khair. Layla. Layla? Yes. Apakaba. <laughs> How are you? Salam alaikum, Layla. Alaikum salam. How is life? Okay. Alhamdulillah. Okay, let's go and check an example of uh, Meme Saikin, and you can do a nice recitation. Okay, how about this one? Ayah number 19. Where is the Meme Saikin with Ibhar Shafawi? You are lucky here, lady. Let's have a look. Do you identify any? Nobody tells Layla, leave Layla alone. Don't say anything to Layla. Let her. She can do it herself. There are three. I'm sorry? There are three. There are three, yes. Hmm. First one is which word? Well done. Here, look, Layla, here's one. Alayhim, sukun, right? Uh -huh. And yes. then we have the second one, like you said. Ara'aytahum. And the third is hasibetahum. Very nice, Layla. Can you recite the whole ayah with the clear idhar shafawi? Okay, 
Yeah. Very good, Layla. Jazakallah khair. It's a really nice recitation. Although the sound is not very, very loud, but I could actually get the recitation. Jazakallah khair. So let's listen to it together. Good job. وَيَطُوفُ عَلَيْهِمْ وِلْدَانٌ مُخَلَّدُونَ إِذَا رَأَيْتَهُمْ حَسِبْتَهُمْ لُؤْلُؤًا مَنْثُورًا Okay, good job, Layla. Jazakallah khair. Janna, are you here? Yes. How are you today? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, Abdani. Jazakallah khair. Now let's look at ayah number 21. Do you see it? Yes, I see it. Okay, can you tell me uh, where is the Mim Saikim and the Abhar Shafawi? How many do we have here? Thank you. Um. Two. Are you sure? Three. Two and a half. <laughs> Three, yes. I lay him. And then we have Saqahum. And we have Rabbuhum. Very good. Very good. Do you want to recite the ayah? Jannah? Okay. All right. Go ahead. Uh, it's my fault. I, I said Jazakallah khair. Good job, Jannah. Let's make dua that Allah will make us among these people that Allah talks about. He will be, they will be dressed in garments of fine green silk and rich brocade and adorned with bracelets of silver and their Lord will give them a purifying drink. So Allah make us mean from those people. I mean, I mean. Okay, so excellent job. Jannah, how are you Jannah? And how old are you, uh, Jenna, first of all? <laughs> how old are you? Um, seven years old. Seven? Um, MashaAllah. Good job, Jenna. Barakallahu feek. May Allah bless you and your parents for teaching you. Okay, so our homework is going to be Surah Al-Fil. Uh, Surah Al-Fil is actually a short surah of five ayat and it has a few uh, uh not ikhfa, we actually need ilhar for today we have ilhar shafawi but as you can see there is like a, a revolving <laughs> question mark so i want to ask you questions first about these colors what do they mean there's a lot of colors but sometimes we don't take time to explain what these color codes mean so i want to ask um uh, our remaining two students that I didn't ask today yet. Um, uh, Sister Nida, can you choose any color you want from this slide and tell us what is this rule of Tajweed that we have to apply? Sister Nida, how are you today? Are you here with us? Oh, alhamdulillah. Yes, yeah, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah, I'm fine. Alhamdulillah. So do you see the colors? There's like blue, yellow, yes. green, and purple. You can choose one and tell us what's that rule of Tajweed. Okay. Let me see. Uh, for example, I, I choose the green one, nearly the bottom. Sure. Uh huh. What is that for us? Uh, after Nun Sakin, there's a uh -huh. C. 
sin. So mm -hmm. there's a uh, ikfa. Uh, okay. Uh, ikfa, right? Yeah, How do ming you read it then? Mingsi. Okay, good. We say Mingsijil, Mingsijil. Okay, oh, ikhfa. Is it ikhfa, Shafawi? Is it lips ikhfa or is it another one? Sorry. This is ikhfa of noon second, right? Not ikhfa of mean, right? It's not no, like no, no. You say I can choose. I, you say I can choose anyone. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are oh. two types of ikhfa, right? Oh, I see. Yeah, there was me and noon, noon, noon. Uh, yeah. Exactly. So this is ikhfa following the noon, not following the mean. Very good. Excellent, yeah, sister Nida. Jazakallah khair. Good job. Yeah, How about Sister Asia? Are you here? Yes. Okay, choose any color and tell us what's the rule, except the green one that the assistant did. Uh, the blue one is col color. Uh, which blue? Is is another blue, I guess. Oh, the light oh maybe blue. my colors are very bad. Yeah, I think the light blue, right? Yes. Yes, that's col color. Can you tell me uh, how do you recite it? Very nice. Jazakallah is bouncing. And we make it bounced. And there's five letters of qalqala. Qaf, ta, da, jim, da. Excellent. Um, do we have someone else I haven't asked? Our our admin, uh, Brother Yusuf. How are you, brother? Alhamdulillah. Are you here, brother? Yes, I am. Actually, I didn't see all the names. Uh, maybe some people didn't write uh, all the names, or maybe I. I didn't I'm notice that. Late. I'm late. <laughs> Yeah, I'm late. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't see the latest one. Don't worry. So, any colors you prefer to? Uh, you tell us. You want to tell us about Brother Yusuf that we haven't talked about yet? Uh, I think the the purple. Yes. The, What's that? Uh, the tanwin after the, that is uh, mean. Uh huh. Uh, how do we call that? You uh, can say it in English too if you want. Uh, is it hiding or is it merging or is it making things? Is it uh, it can't? It can't? Yes. Yeah. Excellent. It's idram or merging. Yes. So we have, uh, I believe, we have two examples of that in this uh, surah. And uh, uh, So do you want to recite either of these two? Tell us how it's pronounced. How it's pronounced, Shadon uh, Rajim. You can do the last egg. Very good. Jazakallah khair, Bodhi Yusuf. Excellent job. Okay. So, Sister Farzana, can you read, the, uh, take another one, the last one? Uh, the yellow one. Okay, what is that? Uh, it should be ya, yeah, and then it should be read the two counts. Yes. What do we call this? We haven't studied this yet, but you can see mm. if you know it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we call this med tabia, a natural uh, lengthening of two harakat. So anything in yellow will have two harakat. For example, alam tara kaifa fa'ala rabbuka bi so anytime you lengthen the e, e, r, a, it's two, two counts. It's natural mad, mad tabi. Mad, 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 mad. How, how to spell mad? Mad, mean dead with shadda. Yeah, mad. And then space. Uh huh. Ta, Ta, ba, ya, ayn, ya. Yeah, yeah. Natural means natural. Tabia. Tabia means natural. Tabia. Oh, okay. Tabia. Tabia. So, ta, ba, ya, ayn, ya. So, natural, natural lengthening of two harakat, like Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. 
We don't say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Every uh, yellow mark is a lengthening of two harakat at least. You can do two, four, or even more. So I will talk about this in the next uh, few lessons, inshallah. So the only thing we haven't uh, explained yet are two. There's, uh, there's actually three. Dark green. Tayyaran. Uh, you see this green. one? This is. Oh, we can't see the green. This dark green here. Tayyaran uh, Adabi. It's not clear. <laughs> I guess it's, my screen is probably too close to my eyes. And so you see this Tayyaran Adabi. This is Idhar, but it's Idhar, not Shafawi, but Idhar of uh, Nunsakin and Tanya. And then you have Hamza here. Adhar Halqi, we call it. Tayyaran Adabi. And then and um, the one that we learned today, uh, not today, me. sorry. The one that we learned maybe the first time we learn about uh, mean, the rule of mean, is ikhfa shafawi. Tarmihim bihijara. There's a pink meme, tarmihim, at the end of me, uh, tarmihim, followed by ba. Here. So we hide the quality of mean here. Tarmihim bihijara. With two harakat. And the last uh, rule is you see, there's a lot of ra with the purple color. Ra, ra. This is what we call tafkhim. The ra has to be strong or emphatic, not that. Ra, like um, Maryam. Alam tara, kayfa fa'ala ra. Okay. The same for Al Basmala, we say Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. We don't say Bismillahir Rahir Rahmanir Rahim. Ra, not re. Not re, re, ra, ra, ra. Okay. Now listen to me, I'm going to recite this uh, chapter and then later you can uh, follow or do it yourself. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بأصحاب الفيل ألم يجعل كيدهم في تضليل وأرسل عليهم طيرا أبابيل ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل Okay, now there's a problem. What have we learned today? We learned Idhar, Shafawi. Is there any Idhar? Well, I told you that this is the easiest Tajweed rule. So the, like the colors are not there. There's no need to color it, it's so easy. So you have it, alam tara, first, alam tara, mean here. Alam tara, alam yaj. Then alam yaj. Alam tara, alam tara. Kaidahum. Kaidahum. Alayhim. Alayhim. Tarmihim. Tarmihim is not ilhar. Oh yeah, it's followed by pa. All right. And then we have Okay, so so listen. The last thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you a video. This one of how this is recited with Idhar Shafawi. With Idhar Shafawi, okay? Let's do this together, inshallah. Bismillah. And then you can follow. Do you see the video? Yes. Do you hear it? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alam Tarak Kaifa Fa'ala Rabbuka Bi Alam 
وأرسل عليهم طيرا أبابيل ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل فجعلهم كعصف مأكول. Okay, I will send you this video to practice inshallah on the WhatsApp. And and our homework is to recite Surah Al Fil. Al Fil means the elephant. Al Fil means the. What is Al Fil? Elephants. The elephant. Okay. By the way, can I ask you a question? Let's see your knowledge of the Quran. How many chapters of the Quran has has names of animals? <laughs> Al-Fil, the elephant. Al-Ankabut, the spider. Then, Al-Nahl, the bees. Al-Naml, the ants. The second chapter of the Quran. Al-Baqara, the cow. What else? What else? Do we have one more? Al-An'am. The cattle. Cattle. Oh, right. Huh? right? Did we forget something or we're done? Uh, an insan, in a way. <laughs> insan is not an animal. <laughs> it's a human. Human animals. <laughs> brother, it's called Hewan and Natik. Sorry, brother. Hewan and Natik. Ah, Hewan and Natik, mashallah. The animal that can produce speech or can speak, mashallah, brother. Zakallah. <laughs> okay, so thank you for your attention. Your uh, Tajweed homework is to recite Surah Al Fil and uh, send it to me with uh, proper Ilhar Shakali, Mim, Sakin, followed by any of the 26 letters except Ba and Mim. So, any questions? Any questions you want to ask? Oh, we are good. Uh, I okay. want to ask something about Yes, yes please. Great. Um, first ray of feel when you were reciting it, then I noticed that uh, when when raw is with the fatha, then it's strong. But if uh -huh. it is in the middle, arsala, then is it like uh -huh. we need not to pronounce Okay. Uh, actually, arsala ar ar should be also mufakhama. Uh, arsala. I think the only time when uh, ra is uh, made soft is when there is kasra on it. For example, um, uh, I'm trying to remember one verse of the Quran. Um, Actually, okay, so most of the time, the, if there is a uh, kasra before it, if there is a kasra before ra, then uh, ra is also uh, made soft. For example, I think I mentioned um, in the word uh, the name Maryam, Maryam, Mar Maryam. Mm -hmm. We say Maryam, not Maryam, right? And however, for the name Fir'aun, Fir'aun. You notice we don't say for for around fir even when you say it fir, fir okay uh, it is not a strong ra it's not an emphatic ra but for example alhamdulillah it's a mouth that is full right yeah so probably it's also influenced by the sound that comes before it if it's a kasra it will become a bit more soft than uh, the emphatic hello. Most of the ones that we notice in this ayah, in this verse, are either preceded or have on them a fatha or a dhamma. Then what about this one? Nirrahim, also Ra is stronger here. It's, uh, it's better. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Oh, yeah. Nir, yeah, yeah. Nir. Exactly. Here, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim. Bismillahir Rahman Ar Rahim. Uh, so, raw is stronger here. 
is strong too. Yeah, as you can see from the purple color, um, Ar Rahman, one of the names of Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala, Ar Rahman, yeah. Ar Rahim, is also an emphatic name, strong name. There is no, um, it shouldn't become um, soft in this case. Oh, okay, so uh, it's, it's not two, about Kasra here. Uh, actually, it is uh, because. Um, okay. Actually, there is Hamza Twasl here, but we will not get into this. There is a Hamza before the Kasra of He, uh, Al Al Rahman. So um, we will probably talk about this in a separate chapter because this does not concern only Ra. Um, mm -hmm. Is what we call Tafkhim and Tarpiq. So we will talk about it extensively, inshallah. Okay. Inshallah. Yes. That's another important part of Tajweed, actually, you know, because uh, sometimes people make mistakes about how to pronounce certain sounds. Mm. And it applies to, uh, for example, um, the name of Allah. I think we talked about this before. When we say, Alhamdulillah. We don't say Alhamdulillah. Right. One is mm. emphatic, one is uh, soft. Mm. Alhamdulillah. Bismillah. When we start Ayatul Kursi, we say Allah. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alami. That's right. Jazakum Allah khair. Okay, that's a good question, sister. Inshallah, we will dig into that more in the future. Inshallah, inshallah, yeah. Barakallahu feekum. Yes, Jazakum Allah khair and Gasiran, yeah. Iyakum. So let's make a dua together. سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك والعصر إن الإنسان لا في خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر جزاكم الله خير for your attention and your participation and see you next week إن شاء الله